They are amazing. That's a big spur dog. Oh no, and I'm in the double hookup. <laughs> that was definitely worth coming for today. <laughs> what an absolute dancer. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm in my little boat, Molly Moon, a 16 foot warrior, and I'm transiting down the Hamble River in the six, six knot limit at the moment, so I'm doing 5.9 knots, being a good boy. Minimal wake, correct speed. I've got my coordinates all plotted in for a day's fishing. I've got my bait, and usually today I'm using some chum. I've made some chum up. And there has been some reports, and I am genuinely just following off on the back of what other people are doing at the moment. Further along the coast, there's taupe, but close in. And the weather further out doesn't look good, so I was going to go out to deeper water and fish deeper grounds, south of the needles, that sort of area. But the weather doesn't look too good, so I thought, oh. <laughs> and it, it's good, bad and indifferent, but there was an article yesterday in the sun, so I prepped all my kit. I had everything ready. There was a massive um, fuel panic yesterday. People queuing up outside petrol stations. I managed to get some fuel for the boat. All my stuff ready, all my stuff packed. And then someone said, oh, have you read the Sun article? Exact same location where I'm going today. <laughs> Albeit the guy called it from the shore. So he caught a 48 pound tope, I think it was, from the shore. That was where I was always planned to go. That's where I'm going today. And when I'm outside of the speed limit, I'm going to put the hammer down and we'll go for it, eh? So it is 20 to 8. I want to be there before the turn of the tide at 10 o'clock. I want to fish the first two hours of the flood. So I hope I don't get distracted by mackerel on the way, because I do need some mackerel as well. That's the plan. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll see you in a bit when I get there. I'm in the middle of a feeding frenzy at the moment. There's fish all around, there's birds in the background. I don't know if you can hear, I'll pan the camera around, there's thousands of them. And this is what, there's scad, there's mackerel. They're all chasing these little white bait fish. So I've got white, there's literally fish breaking on the surface all around the boat. I'll give you a quick look over there and I'll show you the fish finder. On the look at that for a picture. <laughs> It's absolutely, there are birds all around, 360 degrees. I just pan round. And this isn't the only shoal. There's another shoal in the distance over there. There's boats coming in from all directions. And it's a welcome change, you know? It's a welcome change because we haven't had mackerel in any kind of numbers this year. It's been pretty grim, to be honest. Um, and even that said, that doesn't mean just because you chuck a set of feathers over that you're going to catch. <laughs> I tried sabikis for a little while and sabikis weren't doing it. I've had to change over onto white feathers to match those little tiny bait fish. Um, hovercraft is just going past, that's what that noise is. I'm just drifting, saving fuel. I'm going to be on my way, I'm going to give it about half an hour here, because I want to get and be anchored for the turn of the tide. So whatever I've got here, that is it. But interesting, interesting to see nature at its finest. Seeing the fish finder screen looking like that is quite funny. Yep, yeah, we're in. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely in here. So let's just check that everything's working right. And we are actually recording. Right, we're in. This is... Oh, yeah, that's got some chunk to it. <laughs> I can't move it. It's just sat there at the moment. I don't want to go full drag. It can still take if it wants. 
Oh dear, half a macro on a wire trace. Um, yeah, we're in. Just hope the other rod doesn't go. Wow, that didn't take long. This has been down. God, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. <sighs> right, so <laughs> just to recap, baits have been down about a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes. I'm still waiting for the turn of the tide. We're about five minutes away from the turn. So we're almost at slack bottom. And this is not moving. So this is where you get, oh, it's taking light. This is where all your knots and all your rigs get tested. This is what I've come here for today. Um, I'd like to try and get a double figure taupe. This is def definitely a double figure taupe. If it's, not, if it's not a taupe, then it is a big smooth hound. God, that is proper going. It's starting to swim up tide a little. Certainly appreciate a lever drag reel in situations like this. Let's just move the camera a little bit. I can't beef this. Well, I could beef it, I suppose. I could give it more drag, I could force the issue. But at the moment, oh, no, I thought it was going to start coming. Oh, yeah, no, it's coming now. Don't let other rod go. I even toyed with just fishing with one rod because I was worried about what I was going to find here. God, it's got some big head shakes. Oh, oh no, it's a big ray. It's a I was convinced that was going to be a taupe. That is a stonker of a ray. Wow. Come on, pup. Come and say hello. <laughs> that is a lovely razor cracker. Go on, you going? Just checking that other rod. Oh, what a cracker of a ray. Oh, come on. He's cartwheeling around. We might have something on the other one as well. Just looking at that, it's taking line. Oh yeah, look. Lovely thornback. That is a cracker of a thornback. Look at that. Look at you. So it's just starting to rain. <laughs> I love them. Look at that. Let's get a good hold. Oh yeah, I can hear you. Looking right down his mouth there. Yeah, I love having a look at him, you know I do. Look at that. I'm gonna have to put the camera inside because it's raining. Right, let's get this critter back. See if we can get a nice shot of him going back. Do we get this creature back? Back in the tide? Let him relax a little bit. Or, or her, should I say? And there you go. And away they go. Cracker. Wow. I was convinced that was going to be a tote, especially the way it went. It went like the absolute clappers. Um, bait out and get back out. That was on half a mackerel. Um, <laughs> I'm fishing for tote and catching rays. It's great, isn't it? Well, that didn't take long. I've just rebaited this rod. Oh, and I've just had a bit of a screaming take. I don't want him to cross my other line, though. had to put the camera inside the cabin of the boat because it's like a misty rain. Um, again, I know I said it earlier. This has got some chunk. Oh yeah, good head shake. Um, yeah, I've had to put the cab camera inside the cabin so the angles might not be the same as usual. I know what I do need. 
I need one of those pads or one of those belts. I haven't got one of those. I should get myself one, I think. Oh, starting to rise. It feels strange again. I'm not 100% sure this is a taupe again. This might be another ray. Is it? What have we got? It is as well. It's another Raymond. What an absolute dancer. Come on, bud. Oh, wing flap. Let's just put that down. Come on, bud. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at you. Grunting away. Another thorn back. Let go of it then. There we go. There we go. <laughs> it is another slightly smaller piece of a pod thorn back ray. I'm just having a look, it's got something stuck un underneath it. Um, yeah, absolutely bristling this one. It's got thorns on thorns. <laughs> a cracking thorn back ray. Let's get this one back then. Two for two. Come on, bud. I'm certainly struggling with water on the lens of the camera. This is on a lighter rod. This is a 2030. And um, it's a mono rig, this one. So it's got mono line. I hope I haven't picked up my target species on this one when I've got two honking great big wire trace ones out the back. This is another thorn back. God, this has got some go in it as well. I hope this one isn't the taupe one. <laughs> But this is on squid, so I've been using fresh mackerel that I feathered earlier. And they don't seem to be that picky. They're taking squid as well. I'm starting to make some line on this one. So maybe this isn't as big as I thought. I've had to put the extended canopy up to try and keep the rain off the camera gear and keep me dry. Oh, that is going, that is going. Oh. Just trying to turn it away from the other lines. Cool. That was a bit of a tussle. What have we got? I can see the leader. It's another ray. Is it a ray? I just caught a flash of it then. Oh, come on, bud. Yeah, it's another ray. It's another Raymundo. And another Thornback. And almost, <laughs> I don't know if I'm catching the same one again. <laughs> this might be the same one third time round. They just look all the same, same stamp. There we go. Ah, it's a bit smaller, this one. They're getting smaller, not bigger. Let's put him down for a sec. I say him, it's a her. That's three female thornback rays. You could genuinely think that that is the same one again. Wow, they're all about the same sort of stamp. About half an hour ago, I spoke to Shaky, Jamie Ayres, the Shaky Angler. Because um, I haven't had a tote today. So I've had, oh, boat's moving around. Oh, is that a bite? Can't make up his mind. It is a bite. Yep, yeah, that is a bite. <laughs> because I haven't had a tote. And he said, why don't you go and try here? So here is where I am. <laughs> I don't know what this is. What is it? Oh, no, there's something on the end of this one. All three rods. Oh, yeah, this has got some junk to it. 
all three rods have got mackerel fillet on. Um, and I'm still trying for a tope. Now, is this a ray? As in, you can get some really big undulates here, I've been told. Or is this the tope of the day? Earlier on, I had the three thornbacks, um, but not, not what I was after. Let's just adjust that. Oh yeah, this has got... We're at slack water, high water, and there's hardly any movement at all. There literally is, we're right on the slack now. So this is all fish. Be interesting to see what we're into here. Got no wild thrashing around at the moment. I'm rubbish at calling it, you know I am. And if I call it, it'll be wrong, but... Jamie did say you can get some good undulates here. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got a ray. This is a ray, it's a Raymond. He's coming up backwards because he managed to wrap his tail. And it's another thornback. It's a thornback day today. And it's a male. So three females, one male. <laughs> thornbacks everywhere. It's because it's mackerel baits. Mackerel baits for taupe is catching me thornbacks. And his teeth, when you compare them, his teeth are exactly the same design and layout is on a common skate. Whereas this one might be six pounds, they can be 200 pounds. What an amazing creature. Let me get this one back in. Oh, uh, rod sliding around. Deck's a mess. Need to have a bit of salt out. Right. That is what a ray does to your bait. That is a good example of the mess. That that was a, a really good clear mackerel fillet, and that's what they do to them. You give them a right old chewing up. Those teeth just make m absolute mincemeat out of this sort of stuff. These are the absolutely stunning mackerel that I caught this morning. I'm just going to take a fillet off of this one. And their bellies are full to bursting with like white bait, small small fish. In fact, even as I say it, that's four small white baits that's just come out of that mackerel. That's what they're full of. Um, I'm not going to go tidy. I'm going to throw this out as a messy one. This is going to be a Big old mess, this one. Mackerel head with a flank end and insides. So that is all a bit of a mess, but that's what it's going to go in the water like. Hopefully all those oils and juices will attract something. Possibly something other than a ray today. It would be nice to catch a tope. <laughs> I'm not complaining, you know I'm not complaining. I love the ray. But a tope would be nice. I don't know if that's a bite on there, you know. If it is, it's small. Yep, there is a bite on there. <laughs> that was a tiny little bite. And it's not particularly heavy. So this might be a doggy. It might be the dreaded doggy. I don't know. It's not, it's not a big fish, whatever this is. Oh, he's saying that. Yeah, no, I think, I think chances are this is gonna be a doggy. High water, slack, mackerel baits. It all adds up to doggy, doesn't it? Let's have a look, see what we got. See if I called it. There. <laughs> It's a dog, it's a big doggy. Give him his credit, he's had his wheat picks. He's a decent sized doggy, if there's any such thing. But we don't want you, mate. Yeah, all right, I'm coming. T-bar you off. 
There you go, bub. From a dismal start, it's turned out to be a stunning day. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. Four rays. So I had a hat trick of rays in the last film and four rays in this film. So what's that? A, a quintuplet of rays. <laughs> I don't know what a group of rays is called. What do you call a group of rays? Someone must know. I'd appreciate it if someone could tell me because I don't know. Um, squinting because the sun's bright. It's turned out to be a gorgeous evening. Uh, I've got about two hours to steam back. So just fishing out these baits now, but I think they're pretty much done. I've had no nibbles, no bites, no rattles, no nothing for the last half an hour. I'm gonna pack up, tidy up. I've cleaned the deck already. Bait box is ready to go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna lift my anchor, lift and shift. And I've got a two hour, I think about a two hour steam back. I'm not gonna go flat out because that just wastes fuel. But I'm gonna tonk along a bit. Absolutely stunning. It's sort of the, the last hurrah of summer. Shame didn't get the taupe. I really would have liked to taupe today. So must try harder. Um, rethink my game. Thanks to Shaky for giving the, me this mark. I did have another ray out of this mark. And thanks for joining me. Really enjoyed your company. So from me, for now, from here, it's goodbye. Tight lines and happy fishing. I hope to spend time with you again sometime soon. I'm going home. For a beer. <laughs> I've got a beer with my name on it. I'm going to sit out in the garden on the patio with a beer. <laughs> Bye for now.